Kenya is a country named after Mount Kenya, a significant landmark and second largest mountain in Africa. Kenya has numerous attractions, among them Lake Victoria, which has a surface area of 68,800 square kilometers and is Africa's largest lake by area. It is also the largest tropical lake in the world. The lake is the source of livelihood for most fishermen in the region and despite it being Africa's largest inland fishery, the residents of this area suffer from high unemployment rates, low income earnings, bad infrastructure, no safe drinking water, poor hygiene and poor source of lighting. It is sunset at the lake town and the local fishermen start getting ready to go fishing. They do the same routine every evening for 22 days a month in the hope of getting the best catch and higher revenue. They stay in the lake between 10 to 12 hours a night. The quantity of fish caught varies every day depending on the fisherman's fishing spot. The International Foundation Global Nature Fund, the lighting producer Osram, and the social business Light for Life, together with Thames Electricals Limited, jointly launched the Solar Energy for Rural Kenya project in 2011, which is being funded by the European Union and Siemens Stiftung. At the heart of the project is the construction of the so-called water energy hubs, we hubs in short, in rural and peri-urban areas of Kenya. They offer the rental of solar-operated lanterns and batteries, which can be recharged at the station for a small fee and thus represent a cost-efficient lighting alternative to kerosene lamps which helps people save up to 55% of lighting costs. Each hub is economically sustainable and independent from national grid connection with its own power source from the sun. Osram doesn't produce any gas at all in the lake. Therefore, it is of course better off than Yata handling in a comzuri sabobuni easier to handle. Nikitu Tiari Shateng and Ezwa Nikweka to own na off to buy tishi kwenda kazi sabobata mvoi kenyesha ina fanya. Ile mvoi kenyesha ifany inazimika uko. The provision of safe water at the WeHub station is an important aspect of the project. The water is basically treated rainwater. The hub also offers access to the internet improving development and increasing access to information for the locals. It also offers education programs and entrepreneurial opportunities to the locals. Where we're coming from, we've realized that we are doing more than just uh, a business, more than just uh, a, a project. It's actually a life-changing project, and it is that's the satisfaction that we have. Every single time we're there, the satisfaction when you see people uh, happy about what we're doing and even asking us to go to other areas where they would want us to be is a pure satisfaction.